Morning, this is Fox Frontier, where new horizons await to inspire, to inform, and to explore. And Fox Frontier is humbled to have you aboard on this journey, through a peaceful journey of wonder, to inspire, to inform, and to explore. Here in the grand expanse, here in this journey, Fox Frontier is immensely humbled to have you aboard. On this continuing journey, as we're enamored by the grand things that we see in the real and the virtual worlds, on the continuing journey here with Focus Frontiers, process of discovery, to be inspired, to inform, and to explore, always with a peaceful journey of wonder. And here in the grand expanse, the many virtual aviation journeys of Focus Frontier, we're here in the uh, flight of the DC T, uh, DC uh, DC uh, H two Beaver. And on the floats here, you can see the grand expanse of the environment. And indeed, we're in the midst of a journey to which we'll commence. And we're near Halifax, a place called very impressive journey here. And we'll have a look. And indeed, on this continuing journey, there's lots of things to discover and see on this journey here on this grand expanse and here we're known as a place called the Doctor's Lake uh, East Water Aerodrome in Halifax and again a vastly impressive environment and what we'll do in this instance obviously this is a peaceful journey of wonder we'll have a try and obviously not to procedure but uh, we're learning as we go but we'll fly the DHC uh, DHC2 Beaver outward across over the water and coast across comfortably yeah, the journeys are ending and indeed see where we go on this uh, peaceful journey of wonder and again um, certainly an impressive as we could see with the immensely impressive scenery here and indeed the vastly impressive expanse of discovery uh, from the render and replication of the virtual world here in the impressive journey which we're going to commence. So what we'll do in this presentation is we'll depart and go across the low coast of uh, the uh, Halifax there in Nova Scotia and have a look at the environment. Must coast across the uh, coast there, see what we can see and then perhaps touch down either to the water again or landing and also we have the very impressive utility of FS, FS Realistic's ability to walk in first person. What we'll do, we'll touch down near an area and then disembark and have a comfortable stroll on our journey, on the immense impressive journey here, on this uh, grand expanse. Once more, Fox Frontiers, immensely humbled to have you aboard, and indeed we're here in this uh, present journey, and uh, as we go, we'll see where we go, and we'll lead our destiny of discovery. Once more, Focus Frontiers humbled to have you aboard. As you can see, we're coasting comfortably with the aircraft started and lots of things to see as we have. And indeed, we have the mini area or map here. And we'll see where we go. We'll go across the coast there and see what we can uh, uh, see there. Um, across the coast here and see where we can go. But once more, let us hear the gradual idle rumble of the engine there and with the flap set for takeoff hopefully we can let's perhaps head towards the side there and let's increase the uh, volume a little bit as we have this is a general flight we have a mixture of general flights and uh, story-based flights and the general flight is just a flight of a comfortable journey on the many grand expanses and of discovery surrounding and before us. With the increase in the uh, volume there, let us coast forward and have a look here, the external. And there we have the impressive and vastly impressive aircraft there awaiting departure and indeed coasting towards the, the side there, the coast there then we'll hopefully turn and head out as we turn towards the certainly vastly impressive 
the grand expanse of this here, the waters, and there we have a clear area of water, the coast, and we can almost feel the sense of the uh, comfortable, indeed impressive, uh, late morning, and indeed we have the waters there. Oops, if we open the door, we capture the ambience of the sound and the impressiveness of this uh, area here on the earth here perfectly rendered replicated in the uh, impressive virtual world here brought together that sense of inspiration let's close the door and we can see the muffling and hear the muffling of the sound of the door and let us now apply the throttle and uh, through this through this journey obviously there are moments of inspiration and we'll discuss with those moments of inspiration as we head outward. You can see now the increase in our uh, speed there. Up and out over the water there. Nova Scotia here. The grand expanse. The journey or to reduce the volume. It's not too high or too low. Uh, not too long, a shorter presentation. Just enough to get that sense of inspiration. We'll track the well, the gears retracted actually. We'll re raise the uh, we did retract or do retract the water under there. And here we have our bound here. And again, vastly impressive as we can see. Hosting and almost feel that sense of the environment, the beautiful and indeed industrious functioning DC2 DHC2 Beaver coasting outward. This uh, just the flaps there, so we can uh, coast and private cruise there, as we can see. Uh, so let us also increase the height there. Uh, we can go back down there, in the midst of the journey. We're just gradually ascending now. You can feel the sense, the more inspiring sense of our journey outward, and then we have another strip here, known as, known as here, Yarmouth. And what we'd like to do is we'll go out over the coast and see it. Uh, certainly, if you have the opportunity, in many respects, this is a great source of inspiration. If you have the opportunity in many respects, the inspirational wonder, the source of inspiration, to look at the night, to look at the things that we can see, with the impressive sense of wonder detail. Uh, be inspired by the things that we see. That's always the case with Focus Frontier. Here, coasting outward. It's the impressive wonder of the journey here. Impressive wonder of the grand expanse to which represented the journey to inspire, to inform, and to explore. Certainly an impressive, never visited in fact Nova Scotia, but you can see from the land that indeed our journey here will be impressive, vastly impressive. THC2 Beaver there, coasting into the grand wonder of the blue yonder. Just feel that sense of the cloudless sky and indeed the industrious, rather uh, functioning and very highly durable Canadian marvel the THC2 Beaver coasting now experiencing that sense of our inspiring wonder as we take note of the impressive wonder of our journey coasting outward and there we have the we have the coastline, the Nova Scotia side, so we'll follow the coastline. And indeed, what we'll do in this presentation is we'll follow the coastline all the way up and see where, see what we could see on that journey, and see the coast there. And with Focus Frontier, we'll endeavour to always also have a look at the history and the uh, history of these particular places that we could see and that we could visit in the virtual world and always gain some that sense of information and sense of 
knowledge, right? The places that we could see. Oh, is that a sense of inspiration there? What we'll do is we'll do 5,000 feet now, but a bit high perhaps. What we can do, perhaps we can head down and maybe go to about 3,000. It's an entirely flat area here, as you can see. We're just uh, in the midst of this uh, hosting marvel. Let's head down and uh, make sure our uh, throttle there is okay, as we can see. And we'll have moments of silence cou coupled with moments of prose there. And fused together with that dramatic sense of presence. Presence in the journey here, present before us and surrounding. Present in this journey space as we head towards maybe 3,000 or 2,000 feet. Because Frontier is immensely humbled to have you aboard on this uh, impressive journey of discovery and of wonder. And let's head further down now. Towards the coast there. Oh, we'll go to 3,000. Level out at that altitude there. And increase the throttle there. It's a coasting journey now. The, even just the trim so it doesn't uh, extend there. Hey, vastly impressive as you can see. The THC2 Beaver there. Taking off from the inlet there. Doctors Lake West Inlet, and we can see it on our coasting journey. We'll follow the coastline all the way up through Nova Scotia. And see where the coastline will go, reaching the very top. And we'll see from there where we can go. There is uh, another airfield, I think, further on. There's Greenwood. Greenwood. Perhaps we could land there and we could see. And obviously, this is a journey of experience and learning, but also understanding the, from the benefit and wondrousness of flight itself, indeed, to all the other navigational processes that are needed, such as the impressive way of board navigation and uh, ADF navigation, as well as the autopilot, and indeed approaches and lots of other things to consider function and application of our uh, journey both in uh, in the presence of this and hopefully to gain that source of inspiration in this uh, moment in this journey space and indeed if you have the opportunity to take to the skies in the real world you know, this can provide that sense of inspiration then uh, certainly try and indeed be inspired, but we have present before us the uh, journey of the DHC2 Beaver coasting now through the cloudless blue yonder across the coastline of Nova Scotia here. Let's have a look and see, have a look around and see the uh, various environments here, the various impressive environment as you can see the distance here and you can see the impressive vast expanse obviously you have the coastline coasting and we'll head all the way up across over into the horizon there as our functional and uh, capable THC2 Beaver it's coasting across there Once more, Focus Frontier is immensely humbled to have your board. Want to be too high or too low on the volume there? Again, vastly impressive as we can see. And we can see the certainly impressive environment. The THC2 Beaver now coasting outward towards the. Uh, go across the coast here. Head out 
Edward. Into the vast blue yonder beyond, here on this journey, on this coasting journey of wonder. Not too long or short a presentation, just enough to get that sense of inspiration. Here, with the grand, vast horizon beyond, we're presented on our journey, departing from that uh, Doctor's Lake West, in the south of Nova Scotia. We're heading up north of Nova Scotia now, following the coastline, and uh, in that sense of comfortableness, or inspiring brilliance as we coast comfortably, as we we seem to have uh, gained quite a bit of altitude there. We to maintain about 3,000, so let's reduce the throttle there. And in this instance, in this present moment, in the moment of wonder here, present before us, we're in the midst of this expanse, midst of this journey space. Inspire always. Let us head down now, follow more of the coastline, perhaps as we go down further, uh, captivated by the more inspiring, functional, and impressive THC2 Beaver as part of the update here. And we're indeed mightily impressed by the uh, much a list of uh, updates and additions to the software are able to coast into the virtual world. Uh, that virtual world present before us. Oh, we went too fast there. Let's uh, perhaps head down to 2000 if we can get a better view of the coastline of this uh, impressive place. And then we'll head up, continue heading up the coastline. And there's some th uh, an airstrip quite north of here. I assume it'll probably take about 20, 30 minutes to get there. So we want to maintain 2,000 there. Let's see. Just a delicate synergy between the function of the trim and the throttle. All the landing process. Let us see. As we go on further. Part of this journey... And you can see the impressive landscape there, coasting above to this captivating wonder present before us. I'll just continue and see to maintain that uh, altitude there. We don't have the autopilot, but indeed we're uh, coasting into the impressive yonder now, just a few thousand feet now from the ground there, and really capture the uh, quite uh, densely uh, uh, dense forests or dense trees of the uh, land here. And now we have uh, an infinite coastline beyond. And what we'll do is we'll continue up that way on this uh, peaceful journey of wonder, always to remain inspired. What we'll do in this instance is be mindful of the fuel there, onto the fuel uh, gauge to uh, reduce there. So let's uh, be mindful of it. And as you can see, we have the various labels coming up to indicate the function of each one. And we have obviously the grand expanse of the land surrounding. And indeed, coasting across to maintain our altitude there. And as we maintain it, we'll have a, what we'll do in this instance is we'll have a comfortable moment of silence and then 
discuss more on the inspirational journey. Sitting comfortably in the Havland beaver here, in the rather functional and perfectly rendered craft here, and before us in this uh, impressive journey space, we coast outward and discover the many wonders of the real and the virtual world. And uh, we'll do that, we'll discuss more of that while we return. But for now, a comfortable moment of silence, and Fox Frontier will endeavour to uh, switch the views after a few moments from the nose, under the nose, various camera angles. Uh, we'll increase the volume as well of the propeller so you can uh, sit comfortably and we can coast in our uh, daylight here with the impressive and inspirational journey space here of our journey to north on the coastline of Nova Scotia here. Lots more to experience and lots more in the terms of uh, general flights and other flights that we intend to do but let's see, we can go and let's see what happens as we continue. But uh, so what we'll do in this instance now is we'll switch the views and obviously alternate the views. Um, spend a few moments just enjoying the scenery and coasting across in the impressively designed Canadian beaver on our coastline across Nova Scotia. Always that sense of infinite inspiration there before you present a journey space, and indeed a sense of wondrousness, a sense of presence before us, coasting on this continued journey once more, Focus Frontier. We'll be back with you shortly, and it's so humbled and appreciative to have you aboard with us on this comfortable journey, nestled in our comfortable, functional, durable THC2 Beaver in the vast and unending virtual world. Frontier will be back with you momentarily.
next one tis humble to have you aboard. And I think if we had a few uh, comfortable moments, uh, camera angles, and indeed we increased the volume slightly, and we had a few moments, a few views of this uh, magnificent place of uh, vastness and uh, grand expanses, and indeed seem to have gained quite a bit of altitude in that process, so we'll head down once more and see what we could do as we head down towards the uh, uh, lower level there. Um, it's a vastly impressive place, as we could see, coasting across. We had a few camera angles of the they have a beaver there, and indeed we sat in the cockpit a little while and look out the window. And again, vastly impressive as we're captivated indeed by the uh, more inspiring in presence of our journey here to inspire, to inform, to explore present before us. Indeed, Focus Frontiers immensely humbled to have you aboard on this. Uh, impressive journey of inspiration and indeed of wonder and indeed coasting in the grand expanse of this place of immensity and impressiveness we're coasting here and in the midst of this journey present before us coasting in the expansive brilliance of this impressiveness a sense of wonder present before us Indeed, uh, we had a, quite a few good camera angles there, and we can see now as we continue up the uh, coast area here, you can see there's a connecting bit of land there, and indeed to that large uh, isolated strip of land here, and it's, uh, as you can see, it's called um, Long Island here. Heading up to a place further north here, and we have uh, further on in that particular area, it's known as the Annapolis Basin. And we'll have a look and see how far we can go. But indeed, this is a peaceful journey of wonder. And that, uh, again, if we have that opportunity to capture that source of inspiration, to capture that source of uh, wonder, we'll be covering uh, some podcasts relating to films examples of creativity that feature some of the things that we see in the virtual world, how are we discussing those podcasts in a focused and indeed uh, relevant way, how we're donating the focus from to horizon scale, one being satisfactory all the way to six, donating its uh, brilliance or its excellence. I'll be featuring that on the channel as well, but uh, what we're doing now is seem to be uh, following the coastline very nicely, and you can see the quiet resonance of the hum of the radial engine of the impressive marvel of this particular aircraft and we can see coasting to the blissful blue of the blue yonder of the cloudless sky and indeed surrounding our comfortable THC2 working its way towards the Annapolis Basin to which we'll have a look at it may be Past that, there's a place called Annapolis Royal, which we'll have a look. Uh, but uh, indeed, not too long or too short a presentation, just enough to capture that sense of more inspiring wonder. Never been to Nova Scotia, did fly over it uh, on a visit to uh, the United States, but uh, indeed, it is a vastly impressive place, uh, touching from what you can see here, depicted so well in the virtual world. Really get a sense of inspiring uh, detail and uh, richness and certainly quite rich plains of green here from the uh, many clumps of the uh, vast forests and uh, dense trees that are surrounding and it's certainly not a place that is uh, mountainous it's uh, indeed and also this particular what's excellent here is the ability for the entire world to be rendered both in its elevation scale and how it's effect how it's relatable related elevation scales obviously are depicted here in the uh, topographic topographical uh, ability for the uh, artificial intelligence to fully render 
the entire Earth. And we're here, a virtual speck in the grand expanse of the entire virtual world to explore. And hopefully, it will translate from the virtual, indeed, to be inspired in this continuing journey to be inspired to explore the real and indeed connect that reality always through a peaceful journey of wonder of learning and inspiration we can see now we can see the Annapolis space is now approaching we can see the distance we can see uh, some lands some areas of what we might be able to do is perhaps we'll uh, head towards the water and touch down and using the vastly impressive FS Realistic's ability to go at first person view disembark uh, not without uh, first stopping and just taking a moment of focus silence to hear the waves gently touch the sides of the floats there um, and indeed the sides of the floats capturing those waves and hear the water and then uh, disembark and have a wonder and see the ability to stroll through these places at these lands uh, with our first person functionality which we'll uh, endeavour to use when we uh, touch down. Well, I think uh, well, we might be able to. There is a airfield, a Digby airfield. Um, you can see to the to the right of us, to the our, our um, five o'clock now. But uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, pass that, and we can see the uh, comfortable virtual expanse before us, and then our trusty DHC2 Beaver making its way into these uh, virtual landscapes. A sense of wondrousness and awe-inspiring vastness present before you. And indeed, if we can make, and indeed have that um, source of inspiration there for you, that's all the better. This is obviously, as always, a peaceful journey of wonder with tasking and based tasking but also a learning journey as well so much more to learn through the navigation indeed and so much more to see through the procedures uh, but indeed our journey here all the way from the doctors what is that particular place doctors lake west all the way now northwards to this uh, Naples basin here we've reached it again mountainous area of the Long Island here and an impressive uh, place of Nova Scotia here. Box well, for tears, humbled. Have you bothered? Let's increase the volume there. Not too long a short presentation, let's just check the time. Not to be too long of a presentation, so what we'll do is we'll perhaps what we'll do in this instance we did intend to go a bit further, but we'll endeavour to obviously do the uh, on the live streams. There will be more uh, presence on the uh, flying, uh, and more presence in the uh, length of time. But since these are recorded here, uh, for presentations are recorded there, will actually uh, won't be too long. But uh, Focus Frontier will endeavour to increase the uh, volume exponentially of the of what we have and you know, has a sense of the um, presentations on which we can uh, put put out there and uh, we'll endeavor to uh, place the presentations in a more structured way in which one can follow and also we'll be considering um, a continuity with uh, both our adventures in the uh, in whatever activities we do on Focus Frontier and also will intend to um, oh it seemed to have what's happened here is the fuel so what we'll do is well I wonder are we able to yes that's the last uh, tank there and there's the fuel there as you can see and then what we'll do is we'll obviously have more journeys like this but uh, and uh, continue the continuity some of the presentations there don't follow through with the continuity but uh, we'll endeavor to do that and we'll endeavor to have that sense that presence always 
sense of comfortableness and that uh, peaceful journey uh, with the channel. So we can see now where we can actually hear in this uh, two and a half thousand feet and we have to have, we have a um, Clement Sport Clement Sport uh, place or uh, airfield here but what we're going to do is attempt to touch down somewhere on the uh, water here, somewhere around here, and hopefully we'll touch down, and uh, we're at the last tank now, so I think we should consider our touchdown and then disembark once we um, and have a stroll and explore the grand uh, expanse here, touching down in uh, Laplace Bay, I think perhaps uh, there's an island there, we could perhaps touch down and disembark and have a stroll in the uh, and then there's also this particular area here also there's a coast out there perhaps we'll go over the coast over the um, over this land here and then head out into the uh, larger body of water it's obviously um, and go across and see if we can uh, land on that side and touch down uh, so obviously we're on our last tank now DHC2 Beaver coasting across the uh, grand expanse of this place and indeed we'd endeavour to feel that sense of wonder that sense of presence Focus Frontiers immensely humbled to have you aboard See the grand expanse of the trees there on either side. You can see the water now approaching. We'll have a go and touch down. And there. It's a vastly impressive journey. And we want to go across there. Places, certain places here, and again, there's a small area. It should be, should be a bit too small to land, but we have the uh, continuing journey and uh, moments of silence and prose to accompany and befit our journey across these virtual worlds. And from the vast expanse, departing into the blue yonder, from the Doctor's Westlake, all the way here. A journey in the midst of the Christmas, certainly the freshness of the cloudless skies of the blue yonder here in Nova Scotia. Focus Frontiers, continual journey, traverse the vast virtual worlds, and in the moments, find that sense of awe inspiring wonder. Here, the journey's unending, always a journey to inspire, to inform, and to explore. We can see the coastline now. A bit of prose there to befit our journey. Uh, what we'll do now is we see the coastline there, mixture of uh, water, the water's edge, and indeed it's an inlet there. Uh, Victoria Beach, that is called, I think. And we'll see if we can touch down one of those areas here and uh, see if we can uh, indeed touch down onto the. We'll be mindful as well of our fuel tank. So let us see if we can make a, a descent now and obviously be mindful of our altitude there. Let's go across perhaps. We seem to, there's there, indeed, an uh, area here perhaps. And that's, that's, a, that's a hilly area, so I don't think, or cliff area. I think we want to cross over and let's see if we can. In fact, we'll go to the landing flap there. And comfortably touch down. We'll touch down here and then obviously coast across. And see if we can. Uh, and it's certainly in a vastly impressive environment. Again, more inspiring, euphoric moments, lots of uh, 
moments of uh, intrigue and wonder presented before us. And uh, we have just that uh, coast there, so we'll gradually begin to descend. The landing flap is set there, and we have our. Uh, so we'll ex uh, keep the water rather retracted until such time as we touch down. Okay, vastly impressive as we can see. And to see, to make sure our uh, vertical speed and everything is okay, and just keep on that uh, simple journey. And there, so you see the uh, cliff sides there, the Nova Scotia here, the vast lands of inspiration there surrounding. And let us just continue. Okay, vastly impressive as we can see. Just make sure that our uh, we don't uh, strike the water too hard. And indeed, come to a comfortable landing here. You can see the again the wind uh, turbines there in the distance. You can feel that sense of the water approaching now, getting vastly impressive. The sun reflecting off the water there. Let's just keep our uh, view there. And we also want to reduce our speed there. Oops. Yes, and we did touch down there. And we have successfully touched down, as we could see. Touch down onto the water there. Uh, let's have a view outside. Game one is distracted slightly by the impressive reflection of the sun, but we can see now we've really touched down. And we can see an external view here. Again, vastly impressive as the DC2 Weaver there making an impression in the water. Let's um, extend the water rudder and go back. And there we can see from the that particular inlet all the way across now, and we're presented by the impressive in the areas or mountainous. Uh, area here. We'll try and find a place where we can uh, disembark. And again, disembark and coast towards the uh, line there, coastline there. Get the impressive beaver there. Have lights. Strobe lights there. And will that be able to? Well, it's got a bit of a ridge there. Did cover that and again mightily impressive as we can see journey to which we're just coming up to this coast area here so let's approach it and then we'll come to a stop and then hear the waves like the sides of the floats there let's move for this frontier is humbled to have you here that's a vastly impressive uh, flight there. We can see and come up to this particular house here. And a spectacular view they must have as they are just coming up now. Uh, waiting to stop here. And I think we're going to come to a double stop, which might into the land there. And as we slow down comfortably. we have and indeed come to a stop there and we could see the vast expanse you touch down and from the journey from the uh, Idlet into Annapolis Basin across over and we could see the uh, vast body of water linking this uh, River Scotia indeed to the uh, Canada there and uh, again vastly impressive as we could see journey of discovery out of wonder. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, again retract the uh, flaps there and then what we'll do is we'll uh, say thank you and again turn the uh, propeller off there as we have the avionics uh, 
as we'll go ahead and reduce the uh, I'll turn the magnetic switch off there then turn the mixture down and we can hear the rumble and again vastly impressive from our journey and now we're ready to turn the propeller off here we can hear the propeller come to a stop Reduce the mixture there and there in the distance we can hear just about the water let's increase the volume slightly so we can capture the water striking the side of the floats there there and let's turn the the systems off in the uh, Beaver there, as we hear the clicks and switches to disable and turn off the items there. The avionics master, these screens go to sleep, and the all the other components go to sleep. We turn the battery and everything else, and the alternator. And there, into the midst of silence, we'll. Continued and the Heblin Beaver now is rested on a journey and now sleeping. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll open the door and hear the ambience of the gentle waves strike the side of the floats. Exit. And there we have the green there. We can capture the sound of the wildlife in the distance. Let's open that door here here in Nova Scotia. Let us open these doors here. I haven't enabled the FS Realistic add-on, so what we'll do is we'll have a go and see. We might have an intrusive uh, output sound here. Much apologies. FS Realistic connected. Uh, indeed, we have an attempt now to disembark the plane there on our journey. And there, capture the wildlife and the sound of the water, the cloudless blue sky of Nova Scotia. And indeed, the presence of this uh, awe-inspiring place. Here, in the midst of journeys, continuing. I'll just capture that. capture that ambience there and that's that amazing shade of uh, green just connecting the water and then the out of the water's edge there so we'll disembark here we disembark from the either here and there you could see slightly landed on the beach there but uh, I'm sure that uh, would allow the uh, that the water will come in and capture the beaver there, make it float once more. And let's have a coast, let's have a walk here from our journeys in the vast blue yonder, touching down here. We'll have a moment of comfortable silence as we stroll across. Indeed, I wonder who lives here. Capture and their view of the water's edge outward. Capture the sound of the water now in the midst of this journey now trusty canoe strapped to the side of the DHC2 beaver there. Let us stick. stepping into the water a little bit as we can see. Now for the moment, let's just have a moment of comfortable silence so we can hear the water the journey. Um, impressive grand wonder the journey here. Journey's presence with Falcon's Frontier.
in just a few moments of uh, walking around there. As we seem to have landed this particular spot here at our trusty beaver here. And indeed, a durable and functional wonder of this engineering marvel to which we have landed. And come beach somewhat onto this uh, rossy area. And we've uh, just disturbed so just a living here, but uh, uh, indeed, we're standing atop now of this uh, grassy hill here, and there, nothing but the infinite horizon of the presence, the purity of water, and the crystal refreshing air, and indeed, our journey from uh, Doctor's Wesley all the way here to a little bit near Victoria Bay to which we can see and uh, we've stopped here for a completed journey with Focus Frontier on a journey to inspire, to inform, to explore, lots to talk about and lots to see, lots to discuss and indeed on this continuing journey Focus Frontier is immensely humbled to have you aboard. And this concludes our presentation of flying the DHC2 Beaver over Nova Scotia Across the path, and what we did obviously is we followed the coastline north and just had moments of silence and prose, moments of comfortableness and moments of inspiration. Lots to discuss, we may have missed a few things on the discussion on our journey up here, uh, but there's lots more to discover and indeed through a peaceful journey of wonder, as always, Focus Frontiers immensely humbled to have you aboard. Well, until the next presentation, be it in the realms of space or indeed realms of all the other virtual worlds or real worlds that will encounter uh, Focus Frontiers, obviously immensely humbled uh, for your presence here. And we have uh, a lot more continuing uh, expanses and presentations to be always inspired in this continuing journey. There is the like, subscribe and notification button for our journey and for the many presentations that are coming. But whatever your preference, Focus Frontiers, simply happy you're here. Well, that's all that's left to say is we'll have a view of the particular view of our uh, aircraft here. Looking outward, touching down out of the infinite water, the trees of green. And this, until next time, all that's left to say, Focus Frontier, indeed, happy that you're here, hopes you enjoyed the journey, as always, wishes you a safe, comfortable and productive onward journey. Thank you so much for being here and see you again at the next presentation.